I blew the tweeter completely off. And I knew that one would bust, cause I heard that one it busted. And I don't even know what the rest of the tweet had to go to that one. I got this part. Oh, it's down in there. Lord have mercy. Excellent. What's poppin' YouTube? Me and T checking in once again. And I'm making this video for my big, big gang guys that been asking for these install videos. So today, we're gonna install these six by eights in the deck. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. All along. Yes, sir. Give me that. Give me that. Yeah, like I said, these six by eights are those Sarah Vegas, say 400 watts, max power. They're really pushing out like a hundred watts. Hundred watts of like real power. So that's pretty good. Like I don't see my radio, my head unit blowing these at any time. Even if I do let the little bass go through it. But normally, with my head unit, I try to cut out as much bass as I can because I got my woofers in the trunk. But anyway. I'm gonna show you how to install these things. First thing you gotta do is remove this back seat. Oh yeah, gonna think about it, I gotta re-sprank this back seat too. Yeah, this back seat, I found this out of a Lincoln Country. No, I found this back seat out of a uh, Grand Marquise. It was tan and I vinyl spray painted it like almost a year ago. So while I got this seat out today, I'm gonna retouch it. It's not that bad, it lasts a year. Not, really, not many people ride in my back seat, but I got some fat behind kids that do ride in my back seat. And they rub all my paint off because I had to slide around and stuff while I'm beating. But yeah, I'm going to pull this seat off very easy. And a lot of you guys might not know, but for the ones that don't know, to get this seat out, this side a little bit harder to get in. That's why I guess the, um, the last audio shop didn't put it back in. And they didn't put this back on, and they didn't pull out my seat belt. But push it in like this, <clears throat> comes out very easy. Yep. I got mail back here. Feel this mail while I'm at it. That thing's on. How long has it been on? Hey, put that bitch on tight. Mm. Yep, to so take this best seat off. Yeah, have three of these 18 millimeters. That's on what on a half inch, half inch. <clears throat> three of these one. Get that down there, don't get me. Two. And the third one is right here. Basically all you need to pull the seat out. Get back. Pay attention, man. You camera man should get paid for this shit. Oh. <sighs> now, you too, like I said, 
All it took with these three bolts, which are 18 millimeters on a half inch. I wanted, I, I was thinking about buying the sockets for that um, three and a quarter, but I ain't really want to strip my threads out. But the um, half inch worked pretty good. Half inch ratchet. For my audio guys, another thing I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about removing this right here and cutting a little hole so my trunk can get more air. See my amp stuff back there. Hold that, LeBron. See, he's struggling. I'm thinking about cutting this section out right here and cutting a little hole at the top of my arm wrist too on my back seat. But I'm gonna say that for another time. After I think about it, give it some time, cause I don't know, it sounds good to me right now. My amps are back there, my batteries. All right, so now what's left to do is to remove this deck. I'm gonna do that. I gotta pop these out right here. Stops rails, it's not that hard. I can probably do it with my hand, but I'm gonna use a clip tool. I have a clip tool right here. This is easy. See, I don't want to tear my stuff up. So, it's just like that. From there, I don't think you can really use your hand. But, do the same thing on that side, and I'll get back to you all on the next step. Now, after you get the back seat out, see D tabs, three of them, three bolts with your seat belt. That's how you find them, you just connect to your seat belt. Yep, take those three bolts out, pull up on it, take it out. The next step is going to be removing this rear brake light, two Phillips on each side. I'm going to get those out and we get right back with y'all. Okay, you two. Now, I'm going to use my flathead to disconnect this wire. And guess what? Why I got this out? This light is out. But I already ordered some LEDs, so I'm going to replace this one while it's out with the LED. In a, in a later video, I'm going to end up replacing all my lights with LEDs. Dome lights, tail lights, and all of them. So let me do that. Then this thing I'm going to do is take this out. Now, you, you too. <laughs> After I remove this, I didn't think I had this much damage to the ones me and my son put in a few months ago. These, uh, I think they are. Pioneers that I bought from Best Buy. I think I paid like $85 for them. But I'm amazed at the damage they got. They didn't sound that bad, even though when y'all see the damage, you see what I mean. Check this out. I can't make this up. Check this out. I blew the tweeter completely off. And I knew that one would bust, because I heard that one would bust it. I don't even know where the rest of the tweet is to go to that one. I got this part. Oh, it's down in there. Lord have mercy. Yep. But well, anyway, I got some new ones and everybody be installed, y'all. That's some damage. But they didn't sound that bad at all. That one, I, I, I disconnected that one. But this one still sounded pretty good. All right, let me go and find me. I think that's like an eight millimeter, some or seven. But I'm going to get those four out. And I'm going to unbox the other ones for y'all. And I'm going to turn y'all back on in one second. Oh, yeah. I got to show you all these speakers, man. I'm starting to wonder. That hole being right there like that. And the tweeters being blown off. I'm starting to think, did the pressure for my subs do this? Or was it the wattage for my radio? Because I've been driving cars for over 20 years now. 25 years to be exact. And I've never seen this happen to a speaker. But leave in a comment if y'all ever experienced this right here. But anyway, I feel to all get to the unboxing of these right here. Yep, got me up, but get showing up the stuff, man. Show them, show them as I get it out. They want to see this.
then we have here come with extra screws and mount holes for I guess if you get a uh, five by seven I think it will work too this is the speaker now from the picture online I think they come with bass blockers if they do the audio shop normally won't, wouldn't tell y'all this but if you got a very powerful on head unit and you put some bass blocker on your speakers it'll sound real good and real loud without blowing them but they prefer you to buy amp separately for your in interior speakers you know everybody gotta make the money though but i did i did it before and it sounded great it was screaming you can get no meters out of them you'll get straight highs though but you got bass in your trunk you really don't need bass cut through your inside yep like i think uh that should be the bass blockers i was telling y'all about that comes with them that's a big beefy magnet let's compare Hmm. Guys, what you think? Hmm. Yep. Yeah. And I ordered these off a website called Sonic Electronic. And it was only $99.99. So 100 bucks. And if you guys do your own work, you'll save a lot of money. Cause like I said, normally to pull a back seat out and do all the stuff I just did, audio shop back to charge you 150 just to do that. Then they gonna charge you walk up price, retail price for the speakers. So these $99 speakers I bought, they might sell them for like 175 or something. Or maybe 200, cause they are very nice speakers. So all my crown, my big, big gang out there, big, big gang. Y'all can thank me now or thank me later for saving y'all a lot of money to show y'all how to install these things right here. Yep, Servo Vega. Oh yeah, and, and the screws was um, six millimeters. So get y'all tools together, six millimeter for the screws. All right, that's the video. Yeah, make sure you get me. No, don't get me, get this now. Yep. Now the quality, the quality control on these speakers are surprisingly very good. They came with this little bag, some extra protection to keep from busting your cones, tweeters, big man. I'm, I'm very impressed with that big magnet. I know this is gonna sound good. So I got one in. I can put this one in. I'm gonna turn it back on. All right, guys. I got I got the speakers installed, and I'll show them what I got done. Hey guys, I got them installed. And looking pretty good back there and i decided you know whenever you install something always test it out before you start putting stuff back together so we're gonna test it out together gotta make sure i get some little copyright music playing first y'all you showing the tablet Base turn down because I got neighbors, but you hit a high.
I said I took my bitch and all down, so there's no bitch coming through that. And my car ain't even crunk up anyway, that's why I said 12 volts. Let's see. Now the car crunk up. See how fast it jumped up to 13 volts? Yep. That's coming from the battery. I'm gonna give y'all a few seconds of the bass. A few seconds of the bass, y'all. To show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, y'all, or the bass, because I got neighbors, some old lady go come out of the house and cuss my ass out, because she don't play that shit. <laughs> so I took it off. And let me finish putting everything back together, and I'm going to ride for a little while, see how I sound. Oh, yeah. I got to drop my arm. Yeah, I told you she would come out of the house. For two little seconds, she would have brought her ass out of the house. But I got to drop my arm, my other, my work car, off at the audio shop in a few minutes to get my head unit installed. I got an old arm. Um, look down. Well, I show it to you. I got a, I got my old radio. I have my old problem. I got had. I got this project. And they ordered me a dash kit for it. it just came in today, so I'm gonna drop it off to them as soon as possible. Let them install it. That way I can pick it up before they close today, the because they close on my, on Sundays. And my old lady is off on the weekend, so on the this long day, you know what I'm saying? She'll better take me to go pick it up when it get done in a few hours. All right, y'all, I'm gonna show you all that when they get done, too. So, you know, the video ain't gonna come back today. Today is Saturday, so I gotta get that done, edit it all together, and then probably put it out for y'all Sunday. But I know y'all waiting on me to do a project install. So here you go. Hope y'all enjoyed the way these speakers sound. If you like them, subscribe to my channel. Tell everybody about me, because I plan on doing giveaways on everything that I got. Well, not everything, but like still got those six by eights. If I get those subscribers, I will give those away to someone, you know? Some certain thing like you got bass or whatever, you want a nice bass and all like mine, I get that away. Get a thousand subscribers. So tell all your friends about my channel, man, because it's hard to make these videos if you ain't got a subscriber. I gotta take my time with it because I ain't rich. I got a wife, a house, and kids, three cars, so I can't just dump money into a car no more. I'm not a teenager, I'm 40 years old, I got responsibilities. So without a little extra paycheck coming somewhere, y'all are gonna take, take time, they're gonna take a time to build these cars. But like I said, I'm gonna get back with y'all. And I uh, hope, hope y'all enjoy this video. I'm gonna enjoy this day. It's a beautiful Saturday. I'll check back with y'all in the next video, man. Thanks. I shoot this bitch up right now, cause I never cared. Taste it to the core.